Hi everyone, my name is Rod uh, from Vacuum Warehouse. As promised, we are here at Jura Canada answering your questions with our very own product expert, Andy Borges. How are you doing? Very good, thank you. Now, Andy, before we even go ahead to what this machine is and what it does, because we have this question here and we have to ask it, what is a super automatic coffee machine anyways? A super automatic coffee machine is a coffee unit that grinds freshly beans with barista beverages at the push of a button. So all I need to do is push a button, get barista quality drinks, and that's it. Now, correct. Correct me if I'm wrong, but the, the, the alternative to that, to a coffee machine like this, a super automatic, would be a semi-automatic slash automatic where you would, ha you would learn how to draw your own espresso and froth your milk. There's a learning curve to that. There's some experience and patience required and or something that uses capsules. One thing I know for a fact is you cannot compare the taste when it comes to a freshly ground coffee versus capsules. Is there any advantage to a capsule machine then? If taste is so much better here. It, not in my eyes, Rod. I mean, um, a capsule is, as we know, cannot compare to a freshly grounded bean as a juror performs. And I think we most would agree with me financially in the investment on the long term capsules versus beans, um, the cost will definitely uh, be these, in your these, benefit these with dealing with capsules beans. get expensive. They vary. Well, they I, vary. Got, I got friends of mine. And we, every, we were just talking about it. 150 bucks a month just on anyways. Now here today we are with the Jura S8, which is actually one of the top models in the lineup of Jura. Am I right? You're absolutely right. Perfect. First questions first. Who is this model good for? Who, who's the perfect user? Anybody looking for a high quality, premium, super automatic unit uh, in a residential home okay. of two to five people, this is the unit for you. This is, so this is it. It's got your drink selection covered. I think any milk-based or uh, espresso-based. Correct. Uh, with also with the, the options of hot water dispensing for teas. Okay, and, uh, perfect. And with the S8, you basically can take your barista beverages and build them from the ground up. You can? You can. Okay, I'm sure you're gonna show me how. Um, first thing I wanna do is I wanna start us making a drink because I wanna see this in action, then I'll ask you the other questions. Now, um, how would I go about making a um, latte macchiato? Perfect, Rod. So we have two options here. We can either just do a short press on the latte macchiato and adjust on the fly. Okay. Or we can do a long press and build the latte macchiato from the ground up. Can I try the long press? Please do. Okay, so all I'm doing is holding my finger on the latte macchiato. Because it is a touch screen. Because yes. it is a touch screen. Oh, and the S8 is the first touch screen model from bottom up. So yes. You got your NA4, not touch screen, NA8, right. not touch screen. The D or the E model E6 is, is also not a touch screen. E the is not. The S8 is a four inch, three touch screen. Inch, and it seems to be screen. sensitive. So there is one thing here that for the product setting, I'm assuming that's perfect. Yes. So you have your coffee strength here, yep. volume. So scrolling, milk. because it is a touch screen, you can scroll down and up. In this case, what I mean by building the beverages from the ground up, we can start with our coffee strength, move into our volume, our milk quantity, our interval. The interval in this case, because it's a latte macchiato, needs that resting period to provide that milk to, prov uh, to perform the three layers. And then lastly, our the How high you want the temperature to be, which is low, medium, and high. Correct. Now I'm gonna keep it exactly the same way it is. Can I do that? I'm just gonna yeah. press the button. So the idea was, how easy is it to make a latte macchiato on an S8? If you don't want to mess around with the settings or you've already done it once, that's all you have to do. Okay, while the drink is being made, 
Any specific point about the grinder and the frother uh, with the S8? Yeah, um, one great point about the S8 with the frothing capabilities, as we're seeing here, is performing the milk. Um, and as I adjust it, um, because you always want to customize your beverage based on the capacity of your glass. glass size. And we just did it on the fly because we did pick a shorter glass yeah. to go with. And now that we're doing the interval, um, it is settling my micro foam to the top and having my milk rest on the bottom. Right. And going back to your question with the frother. With the frother. It is in the frothing position, which is the SA, but it also has a manual function that if you turn the handle to the right, it will give you perfect steamed milk. Oh, okay. So let's put it back up. And we put it back up. <laughs> We're ready. So with you can actually, and, and somewhere in between will be a mix of uh, steamed milk and so you can actually manually adjust how yeah, much so for so for getting back to why you would do something like that if you have any kids around you need a hot chocolate put a little cocoa on the bottom of your glass turn the knob to steamed milk now you got a hot chocolate done okay so that gives you a lot of control as how the foam comes out of that that's perfect now we just used the two percent cow milk can you use non-dairy milk like oat milk almond milk or soy milk absolutely we can definitely get into a plant-based uh, type beverage, and everything from soy to oat, and then of course, almond. The only thing that we suggest here at Jura is that you look for specifically a barista style plant-based product. Some of that can also be found uh, specifically on the FEMA website as well. Okay, so as long as it's a barista style type of milk, you can do non-dairy milk as well. Um, next question is about capacities and how many drinks before you have to uh, empty out the drip tray and all that. Now, this is a 1.8 liter water container. That's from correct. Understand. Yep. 300 bean, and this is a pretty hefty. Uh, fully chrome. Hopper, yep. Yeah, fully uh, chrome, door. as you can see, especially um, with this S8, chrome lid, chrome front. Um, what other colors does it come with? Uh, the S8 specifically will come in black, chrome as you see here, and a moonlight silver. Fantastic. Now, the chrome I think is their more expensive option. It is. It's, what a, I remember. it's a little bit more. Now, this is a beautiful drink. It does smell delicious. But something about the foam you wanted to show me. I do. Um, and I think in most cases, what people are looking in a super automatic uh, unit like the S8 is what we always say is getting those barista beverages made at home from a push of a button. Right. And what do I mean about that barista? You always look for uh, in a barista beverage is first of all the microphone. Right. And Jura definitely takes pride in its microphone. And as, as you can see here, you push the button, you made the three layers. Yep. And this is what we mean about microphone. That is impressive. That is very, that just tells you how good the foam is and that it was literally touch of a button without me messing around with anything. That's right. And that's every single time I do that. Every so I can make a hundred drinks and a hundred times I'm gonna get the same exact results. Things that super automatic coffee machines offer that I won't if I were to make this myself. Now, um, well, capacity wise, we were back to that. This is a full size machine. So we're talking, mm -hmm. we're not constantly emptying out the drip tray and... Not at all. It uh, definitely is a residential unit. will provide for the household, again, uh, anywhere from 10 to 12 beverages before having possibly to dispense, again, depending on your beverages. Right. The nice thing about going with a full size uh, unit versus a compact unit, you will get up to 16 grams of coffee per grind. That is quite a bit. It is. I think normally is what, 6 to 14, if I'm assuming? It's uh, depending on the unit. Okay. Yes. Compact this will go up to 16. Compact units will go anywhere from 6 to 10. These units will go as high as up to 16 grams. 16 grams, grams that's a pretty strong coffee. Okay, well, uh, as a matter of fact, since we're talking about that, what type of beans do you use and can you use ground coffee or decaf? Yes, you definitely can use decaf or ground coffee. The S8 actually has a really nice feature where in the bypass in the back, and again with the S8, it's so intuitive that you do not need to go to an extra page. You do not have to go into programs. You simply need to just grab your decaf or ground coffee of choice, open the lid in the back. It tells you very promptly, two scoops, 
take your two scoops of ground, put it in the back. It is showing on the screen that it is ready to be prepared. And even if you don't have enough, which in this case I don't, it will tell you to keep adding more coffee, right. but then giving me the opportunity to bypass my beans and make the next beverage through the ground coffee. So you recognize now it's saying not enough ground coffee. So every time you open that, it just recognizes that that lid was and open. Is, correct. And so you and may be correct. using ground coffee with it. Now, um, how do you make, now this is a drink selection again. Uh, how do you make an extra hot, extra strong cappuccino? Extra hot, extra strong. So I guess this cappuccino. question is trying to base on the fact that they want to see how they can adjust the setting to make it uh, as strong coffee as possible and as hot as possible. Okay, so in this case, we cannot go on the fly because we have a specific beverage right. that we want to set accordingly. Right. So we will go and do a long press on the cappuccino. So I can go here okay, into these so, settings. So can, let's just go back there and I want to show you something here. We have a P here, what does that stand so for? So that is a P for product settings. Oh, so I can, oh, I can, can go, go there. in there. Right. And you can see right. that you have your machine settings there. So we have there's your product settings, which you can go in through and that all way. the all the drinks and then there. all your maintenance settings. Okay, so this takes me to that settings menu, basically. Yes. And here I have a rotation screen with more options versus my face screen. Okay, now I see what it's doing. Okay, now as far as the cappuccino is concerned, is so if I wanted to find a cappuccino, so I've seen. Some of these names are actually uh, custom. Uh, it's like people have made their own name. They have drinks. Right. And that's the nice thing about the S8 is you definitely can build them from the ground up. And at any point in time, you can always go back to factory settings okay. and prompt it back. So with any adjustments that you've made to certain uh, beverages. Okay. Uh, but in this case, if we wanted to set it permanently, as you mentioned, to a stronger cappuccino, uh, yeah. cappuccino we can do the long press rather than going into the product settings okay. through the product and then go directly into product settings. Okay. And now I can, of oh, course, make it, as you mentioned, you'd like it extra strong. strong. So we will make it extra strong. This definitely is not the right cup for a cappuccino, but it, but is, it is for visual. Transparent one, so that's good. Okay, we will go to high temp. We will then possibly go back. And again, the nice thing is, is we can take it a step further and putting our name on it um, by going into product name. And I can put my name, Andy. And save. And then go back and perform my cappuccino. Okay, now. I want it to be all the way up as far as strength. Milk so that's settings. five beans. That's the strongest coffee you're going to get. Correct. 14 seconds of milk. Let it be. Um, and they want it extra hot. Now, I can't determine the heat now, the temperature here. I would have had to gone into the settings and done it that way. Okay. Um, as far as beans are concerned, what kind of beans? We already talked about that. Didn't we? Oh, yeah, no. What kind of beans can you use with a yeah, super a very common question, Rod. And I think any beans of preference and taste and choice are good as long as they're not coated, um, not wet looking, don't have any preservatives on it. No oily stuff. No oily content. Just a good either medium to dark roast or preference of bean that, uh, again, is bland and looking but uh, exceptional in taste. Okay. Next question, can you make two drinks at once? Yes, you can, um, and very easily. Um, again, you have your options, but in this case, we should go into our P for product settings. We go as so into product settings, go in there, pick our beverage of choice. If we want to make two espressos, for example, um, I can go into two espressos, hit double. Ah, double product. And now I have just put it in there, my position. Oh, okay. You just tell it and where to go. Replace it. There you go. Do I want to do it? Yeah. Yes. But this is only specific to espresso-based drinks, not milk-based drinks, because 
Correct. Because you only have one frother here, so yeah. it won't disperse into two cups. So any espresso, ristretto, and coffee would do. Yeah, any co center console fine. beverages can be made into two beverages yeah. at the same time simultaneously. Okay, yeah. that's great. Uh, that is a beautiful drink. Can I? There's your cappuccino. Right? It's just already hot the way it is. I want you to see that. That was literally a push of a button. And it's just a beautiful drink. No, 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 no. Okay. How often do you need to clean the machine? And as a matter of fact, um, the milk pipe work. Now this question is really geared towards people who keep asking about, well, first of all, what kind of work is involved? Also the investment involved in the upkeep. So just like any Jura, this would take a filter. Yes, and in this case, a Clara Smart filter. Clara Smart filter. Once you keep using the filter, you don't need to descale the machine. That's correct. Um, by using the Clara's filter, it will give you that clean water every single pour right. um, until the life of the filter. Okay. For whatever reason, uh, people choose not to use a filter or do not change the filter when it prompts you to, it would automatically go into descale mode. Okay which doesn't mean the machine stops working. It just means it, it, now you'd have to descale the machine every couple of months, depending on how often you use the machine, the hardness of the water. Correct. Rather than, so it's either filter or descale. That's, That's as far. There's also the cleaning. Um, the cleaning tablets are provided when you purchase these machines they anyways, are. but you can yes. always purchase them separately. They go into that ground coffee chute. Exactly. Uh, the machine will prompt you and these machines do graphics to show you exactly what you need to do, where everything goes. It's just a matter of putting the pills in there. Yeah, which is the tablets. And which the nice the thing here? about the S8, um, it's very intuitive. It will tell you when to do the cleaning. And once you prompt it to do the cleaning, it will take it a step further and tell you to add the tablet. There and that's when you would open your ground chute, add the tablet, hit next, and for a 20 minute process, it will clean your, the your unit internally. Door. And the last thing, and this is once a day, if you are using the machine to, uh, to get milk-based drinks, is the milk pipe work. Yeah, so cleaning uh, the milk system is probably out of the three maintenance, uh, the one that can be daily, depending if you're consuming uh, milk beverages or not. Um, but again, with the S8, it's basically a three minute process and it can be done very, very easily. And, and I think just, just to show people that it's a matter of putting some of this cleaning uh, tablets, I guess, in the container that's provided with the machine. Yep. A little bit of water in the container and um, having the pipe work into that container, the machine will does, it does everything itself. It's a three minute process, very easy. Uh, it tells you exactly how to do everything anyways. Now, in one sentence, why should I buy this model? What is unique about the S8? Anyone looking for a premium type, super automatic machine that has all the barista beverages that you can take it a step further and build it from the ground up, the S8 is the one for you. I think the touch screen does it. I think Absolutely. the fact that you have so much control over the froth and the milk and how that comes out, I think the size of it, the premium looks of it. And the Bluetooth capabilities. Yes, it does take um, Smart Connect. Yes, so again, for an added accessory, you can put in a Bluetooth transmitter into the unit, download the JOE app, the Joe app, and use the unit through your smartphone. Exactly, which brings me to the next question, which is what accessories can I get with the S8? Perfect. So with the S8, as mentioned, you have the opportunity to purchase the Bluetooth. Yep. We have here cup warmer, yep. um, both and bottom console for those. This is uh, plugged in, it stays, keeps correct with timing up. control for um, when it needs to start, right. when to shut off. Um, the cool control as we've been using, which is plugged in 
also temperature can be adjusted right. as well. So this is really there to keep the milk cool throughout the day. Correct. I'm just trying to get it out. Now this is, this three sizes from what I understand. This is the 0.6 liter, which is a bit smaller than this. This is a one liter. Correct. And it's really cold at four Celsius is how That's right. what it does keep the, the milk at. And then there's a larger one, right? They're right, the 2.5 liter is also That's available as well. So that has in both been white and black. In white and black. And the one liter cool control or the 0.6 liter, they've been the most popular accessories we've seen people pick with their Jura. Last question, what uh, or how long is the warranty on the S8? Like all Juras, um, no different with the S8. Um, the warranty is good for parts and labor for first two years, no questions asked. Year two and six. So that's all parts, all labor. Correct. Year two, between year two and six, Jura also takes it a step further and caps it off at $295. Right, which uh, is great to have a limit, okay? And then again, Units six years or more, Jura will cap it off again at $449. So 10 years down the line, I got to change something in this machine that costs 900 bucks. I'm not going to pay more than 450. Correct. Or just upgrade to a new machine. You got it with our trading policy. That's why we love you guys. As a matter of fact, do get yourself a Jura machine. You will absolutely love it. If we missed anything in this video, questions that we haven't answered, feel free to contact us toll free 1-877-220-5656. Thank you, Andy. Thank you. Great you. job. Appreciate it. Cheers. No way, we've got to do a...